one of us in this room is generally politically correct by default. That's just being polite and being nice and not saying words that you think might upset somebody. But it's been ruined in the last 15 years or so by pricks on the right and knobheads on the left. <laughs> <laughs> it has. I, and when I say left and right, I don't mean us. <laughs> I don't mean us. We're, none of us in here are all the way on the right or all the way on the left, because those people do not come to comedy gigs. <laughs> because they ain't fun. These minority of people, all the way on the left and all the way on the right, are the ones spoiling things for the rest of us, just trying to get through life, upsetting as few people as possible. That's all we're trying to do, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and if we're honest with ourselves, we're all a little bit in the middle. We're sometimes a bit left, we're sometimes a bit right, just depending on the issue and how it affects us. You know, you might be a bit lefty-liberal. I feel like I'm a bit lefty-liberal sometimes, you know, and I'll say things like, you know, I just think prisons should be used to rehabilitate prisoners so then one day they can give something back to society. <laughs> and then your house gets robbed and you're like, f***ing hang them. <laughs> That's just being a human being, mate. I'm talking about the people all the way on the right giving it, they're coming over here, stealing our jobs, claiming our benefits. What, both of those things? <laughs> And you've got the people all the way on the left, these bloody fun sponges. <laughs> Finding offence everywhere you go, even in humour. Knock, knock, what about homeless people? They've not got a door. <laughs> they get it. <laughs> Let me tell you now, it's not a cool thing to say, but political correctness works. Sometimes you've got to make a decision. You've got to make a decision on which way you're going to go with political correctness, certainly when it reaches factual correctness. That's when I think, hang on a minute. Where am I going to go here? And for me, I go with facts, because facts ain't changing, you know? For example, at my kids' primary school, they celebrate everything. All the international days of whatnot, pride and the festivals from all over the world. But their favourite day of the year is September the 19th, which I'm sure I don't need to tell you lot, is International Talk Like a Pirate Day. <laughs> It's a proper day. They dress up as little Jack Sparrows. It's 50p for a local charity. It's adorable. Now, I know you're itching to do it, so after three, <laughs> I want your best pirate action, OK? One, two, three. <laughs> that is where your brain goes to when someone says, do a pirate action. Of course it is. That is the most famous noise that a pirate makes. But my brain doesn't always work like everybody else's, and I love documentaries, and I love stats and statistics. And so I know, for example, that approximately 83% of modern-day pirates are actually from the west coast of Africa, or Somalia. <laughs> I mean, it leaves me in a terrible quandary every September the 19th. <laughs> every 20th of September, I'm called into the head teacher's office. Because <laughs> my kids have just been wandering around school, just giving it shiver, my dimbers. I'm like, well, <laughs> that's, that's how pirates sound now. correct pirate smith it's not my fault the world's moved on <laughs> i will make you walk the plank guys guys <laughs> you've made your point this is for home not for out <laughs> if anything your r is offensive to the people of cornwall they've moved on <laughs> so now you know next time someone says do a pirate action you can come straight back at them yo ho 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 and a bottle of rum that is how modern-day pirate talks. <laughs> I've done that joke for quite a while now on tour, and um, sometimes when I've tried to do it on telly, they've gone, oh, what if people complain? That presumes that I wouldn't care if somebody was upset or offended by something that I said. And genuinely, I, I would be. I'm not one of those comics who likes to offend people. And don't get me wrong, I've got mates who do that, Jimmy Carr and Jim Jeffries and Frankie Boyle, and, you know, they get away with that sort of stuff because they don't have a soul, you know. Um, <laughs> They know where they're going at the end, and they've made peace with it, you know. But, uh... <laughs> but for me, you know, I've been doing that joke on tour. We spoke to over 400,000 people. Not once I've ever got to the end of a gig, got to stage door or a local bar, and there's been, like, a pirate there. <laughs> uh, you know, just all upset, crying his eye out. <laughs> I think we're doing all right, you know. Common sense.
I've got the two five-year-olds, they're great. I've got this other daughter, that's what I call her. 